market. Now, 50,000 cents is not enough to get the daycare center going, but it's the beginning. And I do hope that Barbados will open their parks. And look at Alzheimer's as a disease that's spreading. I realize that it's going to affect not only me, you, or anybody else, but it's going to affect the entire Barbados. In the next 10 years, we're going to have so many people on this island of Barbados. Why? Because of the aging society in which we're living in. And not only that, do you notice that every month there are at least one centenary in Barbados? And they're not the ones with Alzheimer's. It's people in our age group that's coming up with it. So I think we are in a position to start looking after ourselves. Do not sit back and say, well, let the government do this, the government do that. I think we have to take our own lives in our hands and make sure that we are properly prepared. On a plug for the Alzheimer's Association, um, none of us know if we will fall into that, that spectrum um, in the future. I believe that some of us um, have elderly family at this time who will be suffering from uh, from this disease. And we don't want to take our from the pedal at this time. Um, there are those of you who can contribute more than cents. Some of you can contribute dollars. And I will encourage you to those of you who can and I use this, this opportunity for the business community to continue to support problems like this one because it is a disease that impacts any and everybody. There is no discrimination, rich and poor, um, academically, academically intelligent or not, you can um, fall in this category uh, of an Alzheimer's disease. So I'm um, soliciting the support of everyone, um, the firearms, the business community, whoever to join and support the uh, Alzheimer's Association. Um, I would just like to thank Fayaris and Gail Gaskin. When this um, correspondence came to me with this particular project, um, it was at a very busy time in the department. I asked myself, um, who should I ask to work on this project? And I didn't want to put it on one of the senior officers, and I said, I know the right person to put this, who's hand to put this project in. Gail Gaskin came to my hand. I am um, very happy that I made that decision because immediately you saw posters, uh, from the time she was given the job, immediately you saw posters all around the station and uh, communication um, between all the stations. And, and she did a wonderful job in, in, in driving this project, and I want to commend her highly for it. As I said, the Deputy Chief Fire Officer would have taken a cross and given over an independent square. And we don't want this project, as the Chief said before, to stop here. Whatever you can give, give. This disease is like AIDS. It is not a respect of any person. Okay? So I just want y'all to commend y'all this morning on the job that y'all did and to say once again, the job was not about me, but it was about all of us and showing what teamwork can really we at the bank are truly thankful and appreciative of the overwhelming support by people like you here in the fire service who without any prompting have joined us in this initiative to raise five million cents and indeed it is because of these efforts efforts by people like you that we have i believe surpassed our target and for that you deserve a round of applause I must admit that when we in the bank commenced this initiative, yes, we thought we would have met our target because we always meet our targets in the bank. However, we did not realize, we did not realize that it would have been so easy. Without initially, yes, we had to put in a lot of work, but since the official launch and the subsequent National Collection Day, people have just been volunteering to help. And for that, we are eternally grateful. I am sure that the Deputy Director of Currency, Octavia Gibson, her work has been made much lighter because of your input. And we urge you to continue to contribute, to um, encourage your colleagues and friends to contribute. We still have the yellow boxes across the island. So if you cannot embark on an initiative as creative as this, you can use the
get the boxes that are out, at outlets across the country, across the country, be it at supermarkets, retail stores, etc. They've been going around to various schools and various organizations who invited us to come to collect scents. But this is the first time that we are collecting scents in boots. And it's really great. And I know that in your job, sometimes you would come across um, persons who suffer with Alzheimer's, people who wander, etc. So it is, a, in a sense, a way of you making sure that there is a daycare center available to help those persons with the disease. As Noble also mentioned, at the Central Bank, we try to meet our targets. One of them was that we should reclaim all of the one cents that are out there that persons are hoarding so that we can reduce our budget for one cent. And I want to tell you that the budget for next year has been reduced for one cent as a result of this ride. And also, we, I think we are now past the five million one cent. And we want to thank all of you for contributing. And please, continue to collect your cents and help us to make sense out of these.